some people can name the world's biggest countries without a second thought. But you'd probably be shocked to learn just how small a country can be. Today, we're going to see ancient yet tiny countries, some of the wealthiest nations in the world, and even a country that started simply because no one else was using it. Hold on tight, subscribe to the channel, and let's take a closer look at the 10 smallest countries you won't believe exist. Number 10. St. Vincent and the Granadines. Population 110,212. The only entry on today's list with a population over 100,000, St. Vincent and the Granadines, commonly known simply as St. Vincent, is still 13, one thousandth the size of New York City. And let's not forget, it's an entire sovereign country. The country's capital and most populated city, Kingstown, has a population of just 16,000. It is composed of 32 islands that span the distance between the mainland of St. Vincent and the neighboring Grenada, another tiny island nation. Despite St. Vincent's 32 islands, only nine are inhabited, and the total area occupied by them is just 17 square miles, or 45 kilometers squared. The country has no formal armed forces, but does have the Royal St. Vincent and the Granadines police force whose special service unit along with the local militia carry out most military functions for the nation. While the nation is fairly advanced in some ways, including more cell phones than people and internet service available in most areas, they are well behind the international community in many ways, including the criminalization of homosexuality, which still carries a prison term of five years. If you think these tiny islands seem like an entirely different world, just wait until we get to our number one entry. A country so small, you probably have more family members than they have residents. And I'm not exaggerating. Before we go on, like this video, pop the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell right now, or the ghost in your closet will manifest itself tonight. Number 9. The Republic of Seychelles. Population 98,462. This country's capital city, Victoria, holds the distinction of being the world's smallest capital city. But not everything in the Republic of Seychelles, more commonly known as Seychelles, is tiny. In fact, the island holds some pretty big records. For one, the island is the native habitat of the world's largest and heaviest living tortoises, some weighing as much as 660 pounds. It is also home to the world's only source of Coco de Mer palm, a tree that produces the Coco de Mer, the world's heaviest nut, which can weigh as much as 55 pounds and sell for $300 a piece. The country is also on the brink of mass political revolution. Since a coup d'etat in 1977, the country has remained under the rule of a single political party. That is, until 2020, when for the first time in 44 years, the country elected the opposition, the Seychelles National Party, who hopes to bring increased civil liberties and equality to the nation. Number 8. Marshall Islands. Population 58,413. The Republic of the Marshall Islands, commonly referred to as simply the Marshall Islands, seems to be a nation under constant threat. Located near the equator and international dateline, this series of islands is made up of 1,156 individual islands and islets. However, only 24 of them are inhabited. This is because the remaining islands are either plagued by drought or, shockingly, nuclear contamination. This contamination is the result of catastrophic and often wirelessly careless nuclear tests by the United States that took place during the 1940s and 1950s. During this time, some 67 bombs were detonated there, some over 1,000 times as powerful as the one that dropped on Hiroshima. In the years that followed, they played with the lives of locals, moving them back to testing sites that they had been forced to abandon. The result was a population that ingested more radioactive cesium from the environment than any known human population. Today, the Marshall Islands continue to struggle as a result of this dark time in history, and their meager industries are limited to handicrafts, fishing processing, and copra. Number 7. Principality of Monaco. Population 38,300. From a country plagued by poverty to one with unimaginable wealth, our next entry is Monaco a country widely known to be one of the wealthiest and most expensive in the world. However, despite its affluence, the whole country is just 2.1 kilometers square. Monaco is sort of like Las Vegas of France, if Las Vegas was a sovereign country. Monaco's rise to wealth and prosperity all started with the opening of their first casino, 
the Monte Carlo Casino in 1863. The casino is so profitable, in fact, that citizens of Monaco haven't had to pay taxes since the 1870s. However, if you are an avid gambler, you might want to think twice about moving to Monaco, as local residents are forbidden entry to the Monte Carlo Casino's gaming rooms, meaning they have to gamble elsewhere. Traveling to Monaco also requires some planning ahead, as the country has no airport and instead uses a helicopter to and from Cote Azur Airport in Nice, France. The choppers are so busy that Monday to Friday, the helipad sees a landing approximately every 20 minutes. Number 6. The Most Serene Republic of San Marino Population 34,232 A region once at the mercy of Liburnian pirates, San Marino rose from the ashes and today has one of the lowest unemployment rates in Europe, zero national debt and a budget surplus. While many of the entries on today's list are island nations, San Marino isn't just landlocked, and it's actually completely surrounded by Italy. Despite its small population, San Marino has tried to make its mark on the international stage, appearing in the 12 Summer Olympic Games and 7 Winter Olympics, yet the nation has yet to bring home a medal. It has also been home to the San Marino and Rimini's Coast Motorcycle Grand Prix, World Superbike Championship, and San Marino Grand Prix. A very sports-oriented country, they also have three professional sports federations, football, basketball, and volleyball. Additionally, San Marino is also home to a professional baseball team that plays in the Italian Baseball League. Number 5. Tuvalu Population 10,959 This breathtaking piece of paradise in the Pacific Ocean is composed of nine small coral islands. But perhaps what is most noteworthy about Tuvalu is their primary export, internet domains. If you are a bit confused, let me explain. Because of their name, the country's internet domain is .tv, much like New Zealand's .nz domain. It is simply a coincidence due to their name. It is worth noting at this point that Tuvalu is actually named Ellis Island until 1978. With her new name, Tuvalu, like the rest of the world, witnessed the dawning of cyberspace, as domain mains got eaten up by many media companies and streaming services began to clamor for .tv domains because obviously it's short for television. Every time a .tv domain name sells, it directly benefits this tiny Polynesian nation. Number 4. Niue. Population 1,190 people. Lies 101 square mile of land known as Niue. Despite being one of the world's tiniest sovereign nations, it is also one of the world's largest coral islands. Noe is divided into 14 villages, each with a small local government. As a slice of tropical paradise, Noe converts its 100 square miles into a $2 million a year tourism industry. Believe it or not, many come just to see the sky. This is because Noe was the world's first dark sky country, which means that they closely monitor light pollution, providing a view of the night sky that is unparalleled in most parts of the world. Number 3. Serborga Population 315 While officially a commune of the Italian province of Imperia, the 315 people that live there will deny that to their death. In the early 1960s, a man named Giorgio Carbone discovered that Serboga hadn't been included in the 1861 Italian unification, and as such, exists as a sovereign nation in 1963. He was informally elected as their head of state and assumed the title of His Tremendousness, Giorgio I. Prince of Seborga. Giorgio would die in 2009, and his successor, Marcello Menegato, was elected in 2010. He would later go on to resign in 2019, and today, the Principality of Serborga is run by his ex wife, Her Serene Highness Princess Nina. Number 2. Principality of Sealand, population 27 people. Arguably the only entry on today's list that sounds like a theme park. Sealand has boasted a fluctuating population since its declaration of sovereignty in 1967. At its peak, it was home to around 27 people. Today, the head of the country, Prince Michael Bates, spends much of his time as a folk and runs a family fishing business called Fruits of the Sea. So now it's time to explain exactly what Sealand is. Sealand was an offshore naval fort during the Second World War. After the final military personnel left in 1956, it was decommissioned and remained abandoned until 1965, when it was occupied by squatters representing a pirate radio station. Two years later, 1967, it was claimed by Paddy Roy Bates, who wanted it for similar reasons. However, instead of a radio station, 
he declared the massive structure a sovereign nation. Since its inception, they have issued currency, stamps, passports, suffered an invasion, and had representatives participate in various sporting events. They even have a Sealand flag atop Mount Everest. Number 1. The Sovereign Military Order of Malta Population 3 Officially known as the Sovereign Military Hospitaller Order of St. John of Jerusalem, of Rhodes, and of Malta, the name of this place has way more words than the country has citizens. Deep in Rome lies this sovereign nation. The entire country is about 0.01 square kilometers and includes three buildings, two of which are legally in Rome and the other one is on the island of Malta, a large island with nearly half a million inhabitants. The population of the sovereign military order of Malta is complicated, but officially, three people are citizens. Further investigation, however, will show that 13,500 members are part of what is called the Order, a governing body for the nation. They also employ 42,000 employees and 80,000 volunteers. However, not one of these people is technically a citizen of the Sovereign Military Order of Malta. Only three people get to claim that distinction, and thank God since the country is 0.01 square kilometers and has no buildings. That's all for 10 smallest countries you won't believe exist. Which country was your favorite? Do which one do you want to visit? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to TrendJoint for more incredible videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.